and continuing these practice problems, all of the ones here involve solving an equation for x. And that means finding the number that we could put in for x that would make this equation true. And I'm going to solve each of these by applying this basic concept of algebra of doing the same thing to each side of the equation. On this first one, 4x equals 16, I'm going to divide by 4 on both sides. And on the, on the left side, the 4's cancel out, and that leaves me with x equals 16 divided by 4, which is 4. Number 4, 7x equals 35, I can divide both sides by 7. And the 7 on, on the numerator and the denominator cancel out right there, leaving me with just an x on the left. x equals 35 divided by 7, which is 5. Number 5, 9x equals negative 54. This 9 and this x are multiplied, so to get rid of the 9, I need to divide. And I have to do the same thing on each side. So divide both sides by 9, and you get x is negative 54 divided by 9, which is negative 6. Number 6, negative 3x is negative 15. Now there's a negative 3 multiplied by the x, but that's okay. That just means I need to divide both sides by negative 3. And on the left, the negative 3 up top and down below cancel each other out, leaving me with x. And on the right, I have negative 15 divided by negative 3, which is positive 5. Number 7, I have 10x equals 100. So I divide both sides by 10. And those 10s cancel out. And I'm left with x is equal to 100 divided by 10, which is 10. Number 8, negative 2x equals 18. I'm going to divide by negative 2 on both sides. And the negative 2 up top cancels out with the negative 2 down below. I'm left with x all by itself on the left side equals, on the right, 18 divided by negative 2, which is negative 9. Okay, number 9 and 10 are a little bit different. We have a fraction here this time. 1 third times x equals 4. But I can get rid of this 1 third if I multiply by 3 because those 3's will now cancel out. You don't have to write it, but this 3 right here that I just wrote is in the numerator. You don't have to write the over 1. Just realize that it's in the numerator, so that will cancel out, leaving me with x all by itself. But if I multiply by 3 on the left, I have to multiply by 3 on the right. So now those 3's on the left have canceled, leaving me with x equals 4 times 3. On the right, I just have 12. x equals 12. Same approach to number 10. 1 seventh times x is equal to 2. Multiply by a 7 on both sides. And on the left, the 7s cancel out. And you're left with x equals 2 times 7, which is 14. Number 11, 1 ninth times x is equal to 5. I can get rid of this 1 ninth by multiplying by a 9. And if I multiply by 9 on the left, I multiply by 9 on the right. On the left, the 9's cancel out, leaving me with x equals 5 times 9, which is 45. x equals 45. And number 12, the x is over here on the right side of the equation, and that's OK. I still solve it with the same technique. This is 1 fifth times x. If I want to get x by itself, I need to get rid of the 1 fifth. And I can get rid of the 1 fifth by multiplying by 5. And if I multiply by 5 on the right side, I have to also multiply by 5 on the left. Whatever you do on one side, you also do on the other. And on the right, the 5 down here and the 5 up there, which is really in the numerator, right? Those cancel out. So I'm left with 25 on the left and x on the right. So 25 equals x, or x is equal to 25. That's my answer. Number 13, 
1 8th times x equals negative 3. I'll multiply by 8 on both sides. And on the left, the 8's cancel out, leaving me with x equals negative 3 times 8, which is negative 24. Now number 14, a little bit harder, but the exact same technique applies. Negative 2 thirds times x equals 6. So I'm going to get rid of this negative 2 thirds by multiplying by negative 3 over 2. And I have to multiply both sides by negative 3 over 2. And look what happens on the left here. This 3 cancels out the one down here, and the 2 cancels out the one down here. And these two negative signs multiplied together cancel out. You can think of this as negative 1 times negative 1, which is positive 1. So what we have right here is a number multiplied by its reciprocal, which just equals 1. And that leaves me with x on the left. And on the right, I have 6 times negative 3 over 2. That's negative 18. 6 times negative 3 is negative 18 over 2. And negative 18 divided by 2 is negative 9. And two more. 6x plus 3x is 36. Well, these, these two terms here, 6x and 3x, these are not multiplied. These are added together. But these are what we call like terms. 6x plus 3x, you should see, is 9x. So this equation can be rewritten in a simpler form like this. 9x equals 36. And then I can divide both sides by 9. And those 9's cancel out, leaving me with x equals 36 divided by 9, which is 4. And similar, similar approach over here. The 14x and the minus 11x are like terms. So 14x minus 11x is positive 3x. So positive 3x equals 21. And then I can divide both sides by 3. On the left, the 3's cancel out. And I'm left with x equals 21 divided by 3, which is 7.